Hey guys, this is part 2 of my scratch build of the H-Quad, how to flash the ESCs with the Simon K firmware. You need 4 ESCs at least if you're building a uh, quadcopter. This is the one I use for this one. They're reasonable cheap. They work great after they've been flashed with the firmware. This is the tool I use for the flashing part. You could solder onto the chip, but it's much, much, of a, much more of a hassle. This is how it looks. It's not that cheap. It's actually overpriced, but that's how it is. You need a programmer. This is one Hobby King sells. I got mine off eBay. You can find them different places. Maybe you even have one in your drawer, but you need one of these. Then you need to cut in to be able to put the tool into over the chip. Uh, I use an X-Acto knife, cut a little opening like this, makes it easy to close again. This is how it looks, just notice the red dot, uh, has to point the right way, otherwise it won't work. But uh, super easy. I use the KK uh, Multicopter Flash Tool, There's other ways of doing it, but this is just the way I prefer to do it. Uh, this is a super quick overview of your settings. You need to choose the right programmer. Uh, I have a USB tiny simple USB programmer, so this is what I chose. The port, USB. You need to choose the right controller. Um, this is the one you will use for ESCs. The right firmware, depending on your ESCs. There's a link by the end of the video of which firmware to use for different uh, ESCs. Uh, but this is the one I need. If you don't hold the tool perfectly still, this is what happens. Actually, in this case, um, I forgot to hold on to the ESC while I was uh, recording the video. So, I'm plugging in the tool and getting ready to the second try. So, this is what happens when you hold it still. First it's reading the ESC and then it's writing it with the new firmware. It takes a little while. Just keep the tool perfectly still. Bad stuff can happen if you break the connection while it's writing. Now it's just reading to verifying what you've done. Pretty simple forward. Now you have flashed your ESC with the Simon K firmware. This is a good link to actually learn a lot about the firmware, what to do with it, which ESCs is supported and so on. Hope you enjoyed this little video. And as I write in the description, if you live close by me, I live in Europe, Denmark, you're more than welcome to drop me a little message and I will be more than happy to help you with the flashing. You can just send me the ESC and I will flash them for free as long, long as you pay the postal. Have a very nice day.